I'm Dave Ford and in this screencast I'm going to show how we can locate images on Picasa which is Google's image sharing, sharing suite and take an image and use it in something like uh, Moodle or another virtual learning environment. So first of all if I do a Google search for Picasa it'll bring it up or the web address is picassaweb.google.com I've then got three tabs and if I click on the explore tab it allows me to locate images. So I'm going to do a search in the search box. Uh, I'm going to look for some mountains. So I'm going to type in uh, Alps and do a search. Now what this will do is it will bring up uh, lots of images that people have uploaded which are in the Alps. But not all of them will have been released under Creative Commons which means we can't necessarily use all of them. So if I go to show options on the left hand side and then I scroll down oh, a bit too far I've then got the option here of all licenses. So I can go for Creative Commons, which will probably cover everything we need for education. If I went for commercial use, it's an even higher level, um, so it can even be used by people working in work-based learning. Uh, and remixing would mean that you're allowed to take the image and edit it in some way. So I'm just going to go for commercial use and see which images come up. So, okay. Okay, that's a picture there which I recognise as being the Eiger. So let's say I want to use that one. I can click on the image. And it confirms that it's the Eiger for me. And if I come down here, that there would tell me what the rights are. Okay, I won't check on that now, but normally I would check to see what it is I'm allowed to do. Now if I want to use this in something like uh, Moodle, I need to find the embed code. Now it doesn't give me the embed code easily. What I have to do is I have to go via something else. Now I already have a blogger account and I have a blogger account which I just use for the purposes of getting information um, like this. So I click on the little blogger icon and I need to set it so that it will bring up a new tab and what it's done is it's created for me a post in my blogger area. So I'm going to publish that and I'm going to click on view post. So here's my, my blog, and it's just a, a, a dummy blog, it, nobody actually views it, uh, I just use it for the purposes of, of getting this information. And if I go to this little symbol here, which is my edit symbol, it allows me to edit this item. So if I go to edit HTML, that code there, if I copy that, I can put that into something else, for example Moodle or Blackboard or a wiki or a, another blog, and uh, it will link to that image for me. So it's quite simple, quite straightforward and uh, quite easy to do.